put it on a tee, not because of the scores that someone shoots. I put the ball on the tee for certain mistakes. Okay? If I had a two handicapper that came down too steep into the ground, I would have that person on a tee because I want to shallow his swing out. It doesn't have anything to do with his level of play. He's a two handicap. It's because he's digging the ground up too much. He needs the ball up off the ground to help round his swing out. I'm going to give him baseball swings, practice swings up off the ground to shallow his swing out. Okay? The tee helps that. All right? So I, I, I don't – oftentimes golfers think, oh, you're putting it on the tee because I'm a 20 handicap. Well, I can't use the tee on the golf course. Well, you know what? Not on the golf course right now. You're in a lesson with me, and you're trying to improve. If you improve here, you won't have to worry about the tee out there. That's my answer to that today, because you get that question. Well, I can't use the tee on the, on, the, on the golf course. Well, you can use it 18 times, and you can use it on the par threes, and right now we're not on the golf course. Right now we're trying to improve, and we're trying to hit better shots, and for you to hit better shots, for me to fix your mistake, a tee is advantageous. You do a better job there, and you're not going to have to worry about it on the golf course. I say it very nicely. I don't say it condescending, but that's my answer to that. I don't, I don't want it. I don't. I don't want them to feel like I'm putting it on a tee just to help fix their, mis their, their their impact because they can't hit it off the ground. No, it's because of the type of mistake. Hey. You have.